racism at work. I can say I've experienced racism at work. Now, I wasn't the victim of it, right? It's only happened one time. I've only seen it one time. And I said, okay, it must be down to the color of the people them skin. Yeah? Right, so back in maybe 2018, I went to a construction site. So I'm an electrical tester, I test the electrical installations after the electricians complete their works. And I went to some construction site and I think it was uh, Poplar or somewhere like that, right? It was E14 East London, yeah? And I have a supervisor's qualification. Yeah, I've sat the course, so when I go into construction sites, I can be a supervisor, right? Now, when I've gone to the construction site, I waited a couple of days and I approached the project manager and I said to him, look, if there are any electrical supervisor roles available, I'll be happy to, you know, take it on. Yeah? I just want to get some experience, even if it's just for a week or so. Isn't it? Now, I didn't say that to him, but I just said to him, look, um, you know, I want some experience as an electrical supervisor. I've got my qualification. He said, ah, oh, you know, um, we're, 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 we're fully booked at the moment. Isn't it? We don't need any um, electrical supervisors. So I said, all right, cool. About five days later, an electrical supervisor turned up, a white man. All right, cool. Anyway, about a week after that, there was a black man that turned up. Now, when I saw this black man, a big man, you know, 55, pushing 60, I thought he was going to be a supervisor. He looked like he was a manager, let alone supervisor. He looked like he was a manager. Yeah? And you can just tell by people's aura, you know, like he, he had that focusness as well. Wasn't it? You know, like there are a lot of people who are older workers, but he just looked like he was a manager or whatever. Isn't it? He weren't too slim. Yeah? He weren't too yeah, fit. So I don't know he was fucking... He ain't, he ain't on the tools, yeah? He ain't hard grafting, sweating, yeah? So he must be a manager, isn't it? Yeah, he looked like he can coordinate and run things, yeah? Boom. Now, man, um, supervisors on construction sites wear black hard hats, yeah? Everyone else wears white hard hats. A couple of days after I saw him, after I assumed that he was going to be a supervisor, I see him working. Yeah, I see him on his hands and his knees, and he's doing work. I said, oh, I thought he was a supervisor. And he said, he is a supervisor. But he said to uh, he said to me, the manager, the project manager said that they don't need any supervisors at the moment. So I thought, all right, that's a bit strange because they employed a white man, right? And made him a supervisor in it after they told me they didn't need any supervisors. It? Cool. But he said to me, this black man said to me, although they made him a worker, they're still paying him, paying him as a supervisor, in it. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Boom. The white man who was brought to the workplace, employed as a supervisor, he left, right? So you would have naturally have thought that they would have made the black man who applied to be a supervisor, a supervisor, because there should be a space left, right? You're, fucking, you're playing football, right? One of the men on the team drops out. That means you need to add an 11th man to the team, right? Anyway, he continued as a worker. Cool. They never made him a supervisor, so that he continued as a worker. Then there was a guy that I was working with that I got into a little altercation with. Really. We didn't swing punches, but it was close, right? A few days later, they made him a supervisor. Now he's white. So I'm thinking, hold on a minute. So hold on a minute. So I'm a young black man. I've gone to the um, workplace and told them, look, I've got, um, I've got my supervisor's qualification. I'm up for the job if you've got any spaces. Sorry, we have no positions for you at the moment, innit? Yeah, cool. Then they bring a white man into the workplace, right? And make him a supervisor. Cool. They bring a black man into the workplace who's supposed to be a supervisor. They make him a worker. All right. But then the white man that they brought into the workplace and made a supervisor, he left. So therefore, there should be a space for him, innit? No, they, made, they continued to make the black man a worker. And then they employed someone who was a worker, a white guy who was a worker, they promoted him, who has no qualifications as a supervisor, they promoted him to supervisor. I thought, nah, 
Me, I'm the type of man, yeah. And sorry, I'm sweating because I just came back from running and it's fucking hot today, isn't it? Yeah, even up in Northampton, isn't it? And so if you see me heat wiping my forehead, it's because I'm I'm still hot from the run that I went on. Uh, I went for and it's hot in this house and I can't open up the windows because the um the cars will drive and pass will be too loud. So me, I'm the type of man, I don't pull the race car easily. Yeah, certain people, oh, the policeman stopped me. Oh, race car, no, 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 no. Me, I, I take a step back from the situation and I analyse everything. And the last card I will pull is the race card. And that could be the only thing that I could think for why they didn't want to employ this man as a supervisor. Yeah. As I said again, right? Cool, a man's turned up. Me, I turned up, said that I want to be a supervisor. Right? No, there's no positions. Right, they brought in a supervisor. Okay. They brought in another supervisor who was black, made him a worker. But then the original supervisor that they brought in, they dropped him out or he left. And then the person who is qualified to be a supervisor remains a worker. And then they employ someone else who was originally there. They make him a supervisor who has no qualifications. And he was white. So, you know, that's that's the only time I can say I've definitely experienced uh, racism at work. And, yeah. But I know a lot of people, maybe some of the people that are watching this now, they like to fling the race car too easily. Isn't it? Yeah. But that was one time I said I could I could definitely um, say I've experienced racism at work because I can't find any other reason as to why they didn't want to employ this man. Like he's a grown man as well, so you know experience. Yeah, the man's probably been in the trade for thirty years, forty. Well, yeah, thirty years or whatever, isn't it? Yeah, and then you're gonna employ some fucking thirty year old, thirty two year old or whatever who probably ain't got hardly any experience anyway and make him a supervisor so yeah I, I just think that was that was the one time i say okay boom i've exhausted any other a avenues man i can't find no other reason as to why they didn't want to employ this guy but because the project manager was racist or whatever really. and 